Hi everyone, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com and for this video review I'm going to give you guys a look at the Novo 7 Paladin. So this is a really cheap Android 4.0 tablet out of China. They sell for like $89 or $99 on some Chinese wholesale websites. I went ahead and picked this one up on Amazon just because I didn't want to have to deal with the Chinese wholesalers and ship, shipping from China. But uh, it's probably about the cheapest Android 4.0 tablet you can get. Uh, there's also some updated models of this one, some uh, upgraded models like with cameras and stuff. This is just a basic version. Uh, it's got 8 gigs of memory. It's got a 1 gigahertz processor. Over here we've got headphone jack, micro SD card slot, microphone, uh, mini USB. This is the volume buttons right here. Um, unlike a lot of other tablets, it has a couple of uh, Android 4.0 tablets anyway. It has a couple of uh, hardware buttons in addition to the uh, touchscreen buttons. And we've got the back and the menu and then of course it's got a power button right there. Uh, the back, we've just got one speaker down here on the corner. It's actually pretty loud for being a cheap tablet, uh, but the quality is not that great as usual as uh, far as tablet speakers are concerned. So uh, let me go ahead and talk about some of the features we've got here. Uh, so this actually came with Android 4.0.1 when I first got it, and I was all set to do this video review and put together all my written reviews and everything. And then I found that the website had the download for uh, Android 4.0.3, the newer version. So I went ahead and installed that. The only problem is, is it actually took away the Android Market, which was on here, and the Gmail app. So it got rid of some of the apps and reset everything back to default. So uh, it kind of comes with some uh, negative side effects right there with the uh, installing the update. Uh, I went ahead and tried to install the Android Market, but it wouldn't work. I was trying some different options with the uh, ICS apps, but uh, I haven't figured that out yet. Um, what I'll do is I'm actually going to install this custom ROM. Uh, I got it bookmarked over here. I actually got it downloaded. But I'll wait till I get this video review finished. I'm going to go ahead and show you the stock features. So this is just running on the stock firmware. Um, let me go ahead and go over what some of the apps that it comes with. It comes with some decent game apps. We've got uh, Spider-Man, uh, WoW HD, and it comes with this TurboFly 3D game. Uh, so the thing with this tablet is, is it has a MIPS processor uh, instead of an ARM processor like most tablets. So a lot of apps don't work. What you have to do is you have to install this Magic Code app and th turn this on. See, it's on state on right now. And then it, that'll help with a lot of apps working. I actually have this download, this uh, link in the uh, written review here if you want to get it for the Magic Code app, um, as well as the uh, link for the Android 4.0.3 update here on the written review. I'll have the link below the video on YouTube. Um, so I also have obviously some more information on here and some different uh, pictures. Like here's the picture of this next to the Nook tablet. This is actually quite a bit smaller than it looks. It's got a really small edge right here. So it's uh, smaller than some other Android point or uh, some other 7 inch tablets. So it's got the 7 inch screen. Um, it's got a capacitive touch screen. Um, the capacitive screen works pretty good. It's a two point capacitive screen. Um, sometimes it doesn't always react when you press something the first time. Uh, the viewing angles are pretty bad actually on this tablet. It's one of my bigger complaints. I don't know how it's going to show up on the camera right there. Uh, especially when you're in uh, portrait mode right here, it's like if you barely tilt the screen at all, the viewing angles go down pretty rapidly. Um, it's definitely more set up for landscape mode, as you can tell with the logos and everything. Um, in landscape mode, it, it works a lot better. It just seems like the screen's more set up for landscape mode as far as the viewing angles are concerned. So when it comes to installing apps, it's pretty much a hit or miss thing with this tablet since it has the MIPS processor. So like I said, installing that Magic Code app helps, but still not everything works. Uh, I was able to get the Amazon App Store to work, uh, luckily, and the one uh, mobile app store. So I've been getting apps from there since I haven't uh, gotten the uh, Android market to work on this newer version of firmware. Uh, some of the games it comes with, it comes with Angry Birds. Uh, Angry Birds Space works. Um, some of the other games it comes with. Uh, so like some of the apps, it installs okay, but then it doesn't work. Like Easy PDF, it just never like loads a PDF. It just sits there and constantly loads. Uh, same with Fruit Ninja right here. See the touch screen, it doesn't always react the first time you press something. There we go. Um, it usually, yeah, it'll load and then just close it right away. So that's something that happens with a lot of apps, actually. Uh, the Kobo e-reading app, it, like, it installs okay, and then on my, I log in okay, but none of the books will download. It just sort of says nothing's available right now. And when it tries to download stuff, it, it just doesn't work. I don't know what the deal is with this. Uh, I haven't tried any other versions of this app to see if I can get this to work or not. So it's sort of the same deal with the Kindle app. The newest version of the Kindle app, you install it and first uh, you hit it and then it will automatically just close right away. So I have this older version of the Kindle app installed and it works fine. So it's just sort of like a, a compromise you have to make with a cheap tablet like this. A lot of the apps aren't going to work or you can find like older versions of the app because there's so many different versions with all the updates and then they, some of the apps will work that way. So like the Kindle app, this older version of the Kindle app works fine. 
got the dictionary. I don't have it downloaded. Since everything got wiped off of this thing after I did the update, um, I didn't I haven't set everything back up to how it was. It was kind of annoying. I didn't know they would erase everything. Uh, so I had to start everything over pretty much with this review. Basically, uh, you've got the same features as the other Kindle apps. You know, you got the notes, highlights, uh, the search, all that stuff. We've got the uh, different font sizes. I kind of don't like the margins so much. But uh, there's really no adjusting f adjustment for it with the Android app. Whoa, let's see if it took the drop test. It turned it off. So this is a cool thing about the lock screen that other ICS tablets don't have. You can auto automatically jump to the apps that you've had recently opened right there. I haven't seen that in any uh, other Android 4.0 tablets yet. That's kind of a cool little feature right there. And of course you've got the recent apps list right here as well as a typical Android 4.0 feature. You can just like uh, close your apps this way too if you want. Um, what I was saying before I dropped this is we've got the different text sizes in here. So some of these e-reader apps work and some of them don't. Uh, the Nook app, uh, like I installed the Nook app and the books download, but every time I try to open a book, nothing happens. So it's just sort of like a hit or miss thing with this uh, tablet as far as app compatibility goes. Uh, I don't know, maybe some of the older versions of the Nook app would work. Um, it's hard to say. It's just basically have to install them and trial and error, see if you get one that works. So here's the uh, recent, uh, the little uh, quick settings thing right here. It says uh, all my Kobo downloads are incomplete, so it has problems with that Kobo app for some reason. So this is the little quick uh, notifications right here. You get notifications, and you also come in here for the quick settings. You've got the brightness adjuster, screen orientation. Uh, so this thing has Wi-Fi. It doesn't have Bluetooth. It also has some sort of 3G connectors. I don't know what the deal is with this. I really couldn't find a whole lot of info on this. All right, so some of the other apps we've got here. Uh, Comixology works. So it, uh, one thing it insists on doing the guided view though, I don't know, this just version of the app doesn't have the full screen for some annoying reason, except for the beginning and end of the page. But uh, that app works okay. You're going to get some forced closes. That's not unusual on this tablet. Uh, some of the other apps I have on here. So Aldeco kind of works. Sometimes it acts like it doesn't want to turn pages, but for the most part, it's kind of working. Um, you, the volume buttons always seem to work well with turning the pages. Um, sometimes the touchscreen doesn't always seem to react, but uh, it does seem to be working okay. It isn't exactly fast, though. It just seems like at first sometimes it kind of takes a second. There we go. So the page turns work usually okay with the touch screen. There we go. It's working better than it was the last time I tried it. The volume buttons always seem to turn the pages fine. We got the brightness adjuster over here and all that. Okay, so some of the other apps, like most of the apps, they have the full screen thing right here. It gets rid of the task bar at the bottom. To get that back up, you just slide up. And it brings it back up. So some of these games, let me go ahead and give you a tour of some of these games it comes with. Uh, so these ones are the cool games right here. These are actually pretty nice games. Uh, it comes with some others. The uh, Battlefield Defense. It came with this poker game and Fruit Slice when it was on the other firmware. But they were all the Chinese versions of the app. So they didn't exactly work well for me. But uh, these app games actually work pretty well. Let me go ahead and load up a couple of these and show you what they look like. Okay, so this is a Spider Band game. It actually works pretty well. It's not super smooth. But it actually works pretty well. The uh, touch screen is kind of the one thing that gets you sometimes with this game. It's got the two-point touch screen. Sometimes you're like hitting this button and that button. And you can't like, it doesn't respond as fast as it should sometimes. So this is a look at the racing game that it comes with. This is actually a pretty fun game. It's kind of got like an 80s vibe to it. But the graphics aren't that great. But uh, the controls are pretty smooth. Um, it's got a lot of levels. So this is kind of a fun game actually. I was having fun playing this. So this is a look at one of the other included games, Wild Fish. I never really got into this one much, but it seems to work well. You shoot these uh, nets at the fish here. Okay, so some of the other included apps. Uh, I've got some other apps loaded on here, like Angry Bird Space. 
Uh, that's a game that works well in here. Angry Birds Original comes uh, on here preloaded. We've of course got the usual stuff like the calculator, uh, the calendar, clock. Uh, I went ahead and added the notes and comics. Cool Reader also works. That actually works quite smoothly. Uh, documents to go. So this comes on here. Uh, you can uh, create office documents and edit documents and such. I think it may uh, support PDFs too. I'm not entirely certain on the PDF department. But uh, easy PDF, like I was saying, doesn't work. So I've got to find a decent PDF reader. Uh, Dropbox, that works, luckily. That actually showed up in the Android market. When it, This thing comes with the Android market, but the there's like no apps at all. It's like impossible to find anything that you want to find in there. Dro Dropbox was like the one app I found uh, before I updated. Uh, so some of these other apps, you get the email that comes with it. Uh, ES File Explorer, I believe, Facebook. Uh, gallery, so you've got the pictures, of course. Uh, as far as video playback, I tested a few videos on here and it comes with a like a sample video. So the video playback is actually pretty good. It's pretty smooth. And here's uh, some of the pictures. They're just screenshots of the games it looks like mostly. Um, with the new ICS you can actually edit pictures too. So we've got some different options as far as the editing goes. All right, some of these other apps we have pre-installed. Uh, it's got the media player, like I said, the 3G thing, and of course music. Pandora works. This is some other Pandora. It's not what you think. Uh, so we've got the people in the search uh, settings. So like I said, we got the Spider-Man. Uh, some of these other games on here, The Last Defender, is actually an okay game. It's kind of got Chinese interface, but it works. Uh, YouTube videos, so the YouTube videos work. Alright, so some of the other stuff on here. Uh, as far as the web browser goes, it, this device comes with Flash, but I can't get Flash videos to work on the web browser for some reason. It doesn't even recognize that it has Flash. So the Flash videos don't work. Uh, the web browser works okay. It's not exactly fast. Something about this device, it just seems to get slow if you're downloading something. If you're doing something in the background, it usually kind of gets slower. And another thing with the, uh, the web browser, it gets kind of difficult with the tabs up here. The touch screen is a little bit hard to hit up here sometimes. It's, like hard to hit that X to get them to close so I actually have problems with this specific web browser sometimes you can go into settings and uh, enable the uh, quick uh, deal over here which actually works a little bit better go into labs and the quick controls just because something about the top edge up there it seems to have uh, problems hitting those buttons so you can use the quick controls it seems to work a little bit better for me than using the um, tabs at the top as far as that goes okay so some of the features with ICS of course you've got all the widgets um, the widgets are up here in the app drawer. So we've got the different widgets. It just depends on what apps you have that will show up for widgets. Not all apps have widgets. I don't have enough room for this. Uh, some of the other things, uh, you can change the background, of course. Uh, we've got the wallpapers, live wallpapers. Live wallpapers kind of slow it down, so I don't really care for those a whole lot. But uh, this thing has 512 megabytes of RAM, but it seems to be a little bit slower than other tablets that I have with 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, so like the Nook Tech Color, for instance, it doesn't seem to get as quite as laggy as this thing does sometimes. It's not like that all the time, but sometimes it does get kind of laggy, like it kind of freezes up. You like hit something and it'll take it like five seconds to react. Uh, the best thing to do at that point is just to restart it. I, I've had that issue a couple of times. I don't know exactly uh, what the cause of it is, but uh, restarting it does generally help the situation. Alright, so this has just sort of been a general walkthrough of some of the features and apps you can expect on the uh, Novo Paladin tablet. Go ahead and check out the ebookreader.com. Like I said, I have the full written review right here, and I have the links to the uh, firmware update and the Magic Code app if you happen to get this tablet. And I'm also going to go ahead and put on a review for the uh, ROM once I get that installed. So I already have it set up. That's what I'm going to do next and install the custom ROM because it has Google Apps, so all the Android market and all the Google Apps should work, or at least most of them should work. Uh, I'll go ahead and post a different video for that and a different review. So uh, check that out, and thank you for watching.